I know you guys have seen a lot of viral videos go around where you see combative Christians out there preaching the gospel and telling people that they're sinning and going to hell. Well, is that the message that we're supposed to be preaching? I want us to delve deep into this um, idea of how are we supposed to communicate the kingdom of God to a world that's lost in sin? There's multiple scriptures, but I want us to think about this very deeply. When you're telling someone that they're doing wrong, you'll never ever get a good positive reaction from that. So our approach is very different from those who do not know Christ versus those who do know Christ. Our message for those who do not know Christ is that Jesus has come and that he's died for their sins and that he loved us so much and that he did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. But the message is very different for those who are in the body of Christ and who know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Our message to them is that you are no longer your old you. You are the new creation in Christ, that you are been born again, born of his spirit, and you have conquered death, and you are no longer slaves of sin, but slaves to righteousness. But don't take my word for it. Let's look at some scriptures. If we look closely, John 3, 17 says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. In John 12, 47, it says, If anyone hears my words, but does not keep them, I do not judge that person. For I did not come to the world to judge the world, but to save the world. There are many examples of Jesus and his disciples ministering to sinners. We see that in Matthew 9, verses 10 through 13. And it says, while Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher te eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it is not the healthy who needs the doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but to sinners. John 4, 7 through 26, Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Jesus actually engages in a deep conversation with a Samaritan woman, revealing his identity as Messiah and offering her living water. We also see this in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10, where Jesus and Zacchaeus is meeting together. Jesus invites himself to Zacchaeus' house, a tax collector, and he declares that salvation has come to his house, emphasizing that Jesus' mission was to seek to save the lost. Scriptures where Paul says we are not to we are not to judge sinners, but we are to judge the church, right? That's in 1 Corinthians 5, 12 through 13. It says, what business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Expel the wicked person from among you. And so I think this is where we get confused because people see us judging the church and they say, oh, you're not supposed to judge. No, we are to judge the church and we're supposed to correct the, ju uh, the church in righteousness and love. It's the sinners that we don't need to judge. That's God's room to judge the sinners. They are already dead in their sins. We're communicating to the sinners the love of Christ and that now they can be born again, that they can have a new life in Christ. We see this example of Jesus and the disciples judging the church in Matthew 23, 1 through 36. Jesus delivers a series of woes to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, and he's condemning their hypocrisy and their failure to lead people properly. And you've seen me do that too on multiple of my videos. I'm talking to the body of Christ. I'm judging their hypocrisy and their failure to lead people. Revelations chapter 2 and 3 are letters to the seven churches. Jesus through John addresses the churches of Asia Minor commending their strengths and rebuking their failings. For example, to the church of Ephesus, he says, yeah, I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. In Revelations 2 and 4 and Acts 5, 1 through 11, Ananias and Sapphira. Peter confronts Ananias and Sapphira for lying to the Holy Spirit about the proceeds from their sale of their property and resulting in their death as a judgment from God. Galatians 2, 11 through 14, Paul recounts how he confronts Peter at, in Antioch for his hypocritical behavior 
of withdrawing from Gentile believers under the pressure from the circumcision group. These passages illustrate the different approaches to dealing with people who are inside the church versus outside the church. We emphasize a sense of mercy on the outreach for sinners while maintaining discipline and integrity within the church community. So when you look at videos, make sure you ask yourself, who is this message for? Is it for the sinners or is it for the saints?